Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Granulator 2. This uh, Max for Live device is a wonderful tool. I'm going to show you a fun way to use it. It's not the only way to use it, it's just a way to use it. It's available for free on Ableton's website. Let's go take a look. All right, here it is on Ableton's website. I will post the link to this page in the description of this video. But it's a free download. You just hit download and it downloads and you can open it in Ableton and start using it right away. We're just going to start by giving the Granulator something to chew on. And in this case, it's going to be resampling me playing some soft keys. Just recording a MIDI clip, no metronome or anything, timing doesn't matter. I'd say the only thing that really does matter right now is uh, the kind of melancholic nature of the chords that I'm playing. I'm really going for kind of sad, moody, dark, soft chords. Then, once that's all set, we're going to freeze and flatten this and turn it into a beautiful audio file. Because you can't drag MIDI into the granulator, it's gotta be an audio file. But now we are good to drag the clip into the granulator and start messing about. The granulated source will be repitched to your entire keyboard. I, for this part of the process, will just remain on middle C, and I'll just kind of drag the waypoint through the audio file until I find nice lush chords. I'm gonna turn up the spray a little bit. This will randomize the location of what's being granulated. Then I'm going to boost the spread a tiny bit. This creates a stereo widening effect. And then I'm going to elongate the segment of the audio Audio that is being granulated. I'm gonna delete the frozen MIDI that we just recorded and I'm gonna create an audio track and resample audio from this granulator. As I find beautiful chords, I'm going to record one bar of each segment that I think sounds good. I'm only gonna record one bar each time and I'm gonna build up a collection of these. So each time I hear something that sounds kind of beautiful, I'm just going to record one bar resample of the audio. Once I've collected a handful of these, I'm going to drag all of them over into Arrangement View. Then I'm going to consolidate all of them into one big fat audio track. I'm going to right click and hit Slice to MIDI Track. And I'm going to use this sampler rack that we made in a separate video. And now each pad sound that we've collected has been mapped to a drum rack where when you press a key, the sample assigned to that key will loop indefinitely. When the sample starts over again, there's a little click, but you can fix that with the attack knob. You just turn that up a little bit, soften the attack, and then you go through and make each loop uh, fade when it loops instead of just be a harsh back and forth. Using the granulator, we've now generated these lush, beautiful chord samples that otherwise we probably wouldn't have been able to come up with. What you do from here is totally up to you. You can just create an ambient song this way. These are great ambient sounds. Or you can use these underlying chords as the basis for a beat. Why don't we do that? First, we'll start by finding a nice kind of loop that these chords can generate that sounds intentional and makes sense in a melodic way, I guess. And now we throw some drums underneath that. Lately I've been a big fan of the United Audio Studer A800 tape recorder for the master. It just has a nice analog, crunchy, creamy sound. But of course, when you add tape saturation, sometimes you realize you didn't EQ at all. Uh, so I'm gonna throw Pro-Q on these chords, clean it up a little bit, make some space for that kick drum to really thump. Also leaves us plenty of room to add a little bass now. And whenever I record a bass part, it always makes me want to change up the drums because I think the kick drum and the bass part should interplay in a certain way. and. It's always particular to the track and the sounds that you're using, so it takes some experimenting to get down right. And 
Then I think all she needs is a little electronic piano with some delay. And that's a beat, baby. That made me cringe a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's that. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to me. We just hit 700 subscribers, which is absolutely phenomenal. I read every single one of your comments. I try to reply to every single one that asks for a reply. I think my goal was like by the end of the year, I wanted 600 or 700. I don't remember, but you know, it's only October and we're already at 700. So look at that. Thank you so much. And if you're really loving my videos, I do have a Patreon where you can support me further and get some uh, added bonus material. You can get Ableton racks, you can get sample packs. There's live stream archives where I've, you know, done live streams and such. There's music of mine that is not available anywhere else online unless it got pirated, which is also kind of dope. But yeah, uh, Patreon or just subscribe here, okay? And leave a comment and uh, a like or a dislike. Bye and enjoy this beat that we just made.